As we look forward to welcoming our year nine to 11 students back to senior school in the coming days, we wanted to communicate our plans with you. We understand that there's been some changes to the return to school plan over the last few days, and this may have caused some confusion about students' return. So we wish to provide a hard, this information to you in a hard copy newsletter to help remind you of which students will be at school on which days. Currently the plan is that we'll be welcoming all year 10 and 11 students back to face-to-face -face learning this coming Friday. Our year 11s will remain on site full time from Friday onwards. Our year 10s will attend on site on Thursday and Friday in weeks four and five. However, year 10s studying a year 11 class will not attend on site for year 11 classes, unless of course they occur on the Thursday or Friday. Year 9s will attend next week on Tuesday and Wednesday in week 4 and week 5, apart from Cup Day. All year 9 to 11 students will attend full time from week 6 onwards. Student safety, of course, remains our number one priority. If your child has any symptoms of COVID, we ask that you keep them at home during this time. When students are at school, they are reminded that they must wear a properly fitted face mask each day, unless they, of course, have an exemption, to maintain social distancing and to follow personal hygiene measures such as the regular use of hand sanitizer. In addition, teachers will be monitoring the ventilation in each classroom to promote airflow, or they'll be using air purifiers which have been installed in classrooms. Further details will be provided about who to contact if your child tests positive to COVID-19 or is identified as a primary close contact. We understand that some parents may have some apprehension about sending students back to school and wish to assure you that we are following the advice provided to ensure we make the school environment as safe as possible. Our other priority as students return is to support them in their social and emotional well-being. The academic pro program is of course very important. However, our first priority is to support students to return well and settle back into the normal school routine in term four. Communication at this time remains very important. So please reach out to your child's home group teacher, year level leader or head of school to discuss any concerns. I'll now hand over to Sonia Goodacre to discuss some more matters relating to the curriculum. When students are at school, they can expect to return to normal face-to-face -face lessons for all classes scheduled on those days. Our focus in the classroom will be working on the acquisition of skills. This is an area of the curriculum that is more difficult to observe during times of remote learning. It is also a really important factor in preparing students for the year ahead. For this reason, we have decided that we will not be running formal exams for year 9 to 11 students this year. It just doesn't make sense to sacrifice more class time for the purpose of running a formal exam period. There will be some ongoing assessment continuing across the senior school. However, there has been a deliberate attempt to reduce the pressure experienced by students. We understand that students are going to come back to school with different areas of success with their learning and there will be different um, needs for each individual student. So in place of these exams, we will run a series of revision activities to help students develop their study skills and evaluate where they are at with their learning. Again, the focus here is on the acquisition of appropriate skills. Year 11 teachers in particular will work on a number of revision activities and practice exam questions and tasks in class to check how students have progressed with their learning and provide feedback and support to them in preparing them for the units three and four studies next year. We understand that this is not a one size fits all. Some year 11 students will still need support in completing essential work to enable them to pass units one and two, while other students might choose to take a, take, undertake a full exam and get feedback from teachers. Parents and students are encouraged to reach out and discuss their individual needs with class teachers. If your child is feeling overwhelmed about work at any stage, please contact their home group teacher or class teacher. For Year 9 and 10 students, on the days when they are not scheduled to attend on site in weeks 3 to 5, the regular remote learning program will continue with lesson information communicated via either Google Classroom or Compass. We have also decided to help prepare for VCE next year that the current Year 10 and 11 students will undertake two weeks of early start in weeks eight and nine, 
where they'll commence their studies for 2022. This will give our teachers time to work with their students to focus on areas needing improvement for the year ahead. There will also be a small early start program for our current year nine students. However, a large part of our planning for this cohort is for them to finish year nine well and hopefully have the opportunity to participate in really important aspects of the experiential program. I'll now hand over to Mrs Kim Donnelly, who will discuss more of the operational matters relating to the return to face-to-face -to -face learning. We need to ensure that students transition well into school life. This includes important social aspects of school life and following the day-to-day -day expectations. It's important that students arrive to school on time with all of the equipment they need for their classes. Home group starts at 8.30 in the morning and will be running each day that the students are on site. When students return to school, they are expected to be in their college summer uniform. This includes black leather lace-up school shoes. Sports uniform may only be worn if permitted for timetabled classes on that day. The college uniform supplier, PSW, is open for click and collect, and we've been advised that most of the items are in stock. We understand that there may be some difficulty in obtaining all uniform items by return to school dates. If this is the case, we ask that you contact your child's home group teacher. Now is also the time to ensure that any extreme hair colours are washed out or recoloured and that facial piercings are removed or replaced with a clear plastic piercing. Long hair needs to be tied back and fake nails and nail polish need to be removed. We would also like to remind parents and students of the college mobile phone policy. Students are not to access their mobile phones during school hours. Students who are found using their phones throughout the school day will have them confiscated by staff and will be instructed to collect them from a year level leader at the end of the day. If a student feels that they do need to contact home, they need to speak to a teacher or year level leader. Similarly, if parents need to contact or leave a message for their child, could you please do so by contacting the college on 9717 7500. If you have further questions regarding your child's return to on-site learning, please contact their home group teacher or year level leader. We look forward to welcoming our students back to the college over the next few days.